here. The subject, as can be seen, is one Timothy question mark Thomas Drew. This communication is between us and the Newark Public Library who would contain the records. Let's see their response before we get to the actual documents that you ain't never seen before. So the library writes, I found the two articles you mentioned over the phone. Obviously, we knew about the articles, as well as another that appeared on July 19th when Drew was acquitted. Acquitted of what? We shall see. The Newark Evening News referred to him as Thomas, not Timothy. There goes our first one. Was his name Thomas? Was his name Timothy? Was his name Drew? What was it? Let's see what the records say. So we'll go down further. As you can see, we went and we paid for it. And what did we get? Let's take a look. I'm going to make this big and we're going to read through the article. This, so all of those date hounds and wanting to know and about your leader can be found in the June 27th, 1916 issue of the Newark Evening News about one Timothy Thomas Drew. Can this be seen? Can this be seen? Yeah, it can gonna, be seen. And don't we're going to read the... this together. We're going to read this together. The headline says, Could Ben Bars still sat in jail? Egyptian adept student is finally released by Judge Pilgrim, but on bail of $1,700. Buckle up, folks. You want it the NBK way, you're going to get it the NBK way. Primaries, not our words, but I'm going to take my time with this one. Because in this article are the words of Mr. Drew, and we're going to find out about him. So, Dr. quote unquote, quotes added by me. Thomas Drew's miracles are many. Let's go. Dr. Thomas Drew, advertising as an Egyptian adept student who has been performing miracles in his mysterious chamber in an attic room at 22 School Street for several weeks, sat most of this morning in a cell in the fourth Precinct. This is before he was noble. Lock up and wondered how he could effect an escape. Of course, he has twisted and broken such bars with one hand, has shattered great iron locks, and has brushed away handcuffs with only a smile and a muscle twitch. But they were his own bars, locks, and handcuffs. This guy. Dr. Thomas Drew, the Egyptian adept, was a fake magician. Yo, Danny, I put the um the uh, Professor Drew picture there just with, just so people that never seen it before. So we'll get to that. We're gonna read the article because people have seen that picture before. People ain't never seen this. Never. Never. Shall I continue? Y'all want me to continue? Put some ones in there, just because I like seeing it. Welcome, Bullets, Gotti, and everybody else. It's about to get real. Y'all done tuned into the right one. Y'all don't. Y'all don't ask for the right ones. Not our words, their words. All right. Let me continue about noble. Oh, excuse me, Doctor Thomas Drew, the Egyptian. And I was just kidding with the ones, y'all. I just wanted to do that one time. Y'all can stop. It was a joke. <laughs> All right. The professor 
was also noticeably worried over a bail of $1,700, which had been fixed by Judge Pilgrim to injure his appearance before the grand jury when he is wanted to answer two charges. One is for pretending powers of clairvoyance, and the other accuses him of what? Selling medicine without a license. Do these tactics sound familiar to people in 2019, your conscious them? So he is in court and in jail for, let's keep track now, pretending powers of clairvoyance. So he was a magician who was going around with the power of clairvoyance? Let's read further about Dr. Drew. And the other accuses him of selling medicine without a license. That is called uh, patent medicines. And those were in the medicine show, which we talked about in our Black Magic, Black Power. Nobu Juali, the ad that you see where he is escaping from ropes like uh, Jesus, was also slinging medicines later. So he kept it up. It was a medicine show. And magicians and medicine shows go hand in hand. I repeat, all you need to do is go back and watch The Wizard of Oz and look at the guy who came through town. He had on a turban and he was selling miracle elixirs. He also ended up being a wizard. Is Noble Drali the wizard? Let's continue on to find out. That guy, y'all remember the scene? The guy came through, he had a turban, he had some cape on, and he had some crystal ball, right? <laughs> Let's read on. Information gathered by Detective Schrader and Bauman of headquarters shows that the professor had done a land office business in medicine and was waging a campaign to obliterate all illness from his neighborhood sounds quote unquote noble, right? He had also given some very remarkable advice regarding prospective marriages, investments, and whatnot. All right, a tie, uh-oh, listen closely. Let's get a visual picture of how Dr. Thomas Drew, the Egyptian adept, uh, medicine man, magician, was looking before he was noble. Attired in a loosely fitting, multicolored gown and with a brilliant purple hood covering his head. Not attired in fez or turban or anything like that. Before he was noble, his shtick was, once again, attired in a loosely fitting, multicolored gown and with a brilliant purple hood covering his head. Y'all ever remember how the undertaker used to come to the ring? Picture that. Y'all remember how the wizard looked in the wizard? Picture that. Y'all old enough to remember Dungeons and Dragons? Picture that. This is before he was noble. Shall I continue? Let's do that. Professor Drew, who is an East Indian? That's what it says. With Virginia as his birthplace. I thought he was born in North Carolina. I thought he was born in North Carolina. Virginia will be important. Please remind me, Alan, so I can get to what was going on in Virginia. Got you. In Virginia, East Indian with Virginia as his birthplace. Virginia told of his wonderful second sight powers last night when he was visited by detectives. He advised Schrader to invest his million dollars as planned and said he would be repaid threefold. Hmm. Let's go further. It cost Schrader a dollar 
for the information. Despite, we'll look at the business card later, the announcement on Drew's cards that he operated uh, gratis, which means free or no cost. So a marked bill was given him. And later, Schrader and Mrs. Hughes, a police woman, acted as his wife, revisited the mysterious chamber and had the professor tell again of his marvelous powers that, excuse me, alas, that also, excuse me, cost a dollar. So he had to pay for it. The marked bill was given to change for a $2 note. Let's keep going. And let's see what the guy with the purple hood and the gown was also doing. With that evidence, the detectives placed the professor under arrest and took him to the fourth precinct with all his paraphernalia and medicine. After being placed in the cell, the prisoner said he was a finished scholar in the art of breaking through bars and didn't really expect to spend the entire night in the locker. This gentleman who they took in wearing a gown and a purple cape who said he had the power of clairvoyance is now, or oh, said he was an Egyptian adept, is now sitting in the cell telling people that he could break through the bars and he wouldn't be in jail all night. Let's see if he did that. Of course, the professor had a lot of other really clever tricks that he wouldn't do, wouldn't do for the lone dollar, but other visitors to the mysterious chamber had seen it all. Like what? For instance, when dinner time grew near, the professor enjoyed a meal of eight penny nails, eating nails in a jail cell, if his audience was sporty enough to pay for the iron. Then he resorted to miraculous powers of healing to make indigestion impossible. Scores of children in the neighborhood of Newark, it is said, witnessed the nail meals of the professor. So, Professor Drew, the Egyptian adept with the miracle medicine and magician who walks around the hood and the cape and a hood for children would eat nails and bend bars. Let's see what else. He was four hour day. He right? The professor worked only several hours each day. The two hours preceding noon and from six to eight o'clock at night. He ate the nails during the twilight hours before he was noble. Professor Drew said he learned. All right, folks, this is where we pause. This is where we, you know, this the part, Alan? This the, no, it's a couple parts and we get into it. I need everybody to pay even more attention because I believe we're going to get to it soon. Let's see where all this magic comes from. Professor Drew said he learned his work in that great country of India. I thought he went to Egypt. Oh, so now Professor Drew went to India and later went to Egypt too? Did he learn the powers from India or did he learn them from Egypt? When did he go to India and when did he go to Egypt? Let's continue. And was able to cure aches, pains, fevers, consumptions, dyspensia, convulsions, lumbargo, heart disease, indigestion, neuralgia, paralysis, rheumatism, nervousness, bronchitis, asthma, fits, deafness, and blindness. 
Professor Drew, the magician, nail eater, Egyptian adept, also could cure deafness and blindness and heart disease. Before he was noble. Let's continue on. After making it possible for the local health department to cease business, the professor had contemplated chasing over to London to open the eyes of the blinded soldiers. Oh, yes, he could do that for he had some wonderful experience in India amongst the soldiers. When did he go to India? Let's continue. The most expensive miracle that the professor performed was the ejection of all evil spirits and influence. Professor Drew, the Egyptian adept magician who ate nails and cured heart disease, blindness, and deafness, also was an exorcist. <laughs> Not my words, his words to the detectives. I'll read it again. The most expensive, because you had to pay for this miracle that the professor performed was the ejection of all evil spirits and influences, thereby making it possible for one to enjoy a night of perfect sleep. New workers, oh, excuse me, nowhere appealed for such a, however, thank goodness. It says no new workers appeared for, for such aid. So nobody went to him for that. Maybe that's why he left Newark. Let's continue. Hundreds of persons have been advised by the professor, according to the police, and an investigation is still being conducted with a hope of obtaining some accurate information regarding the size of his clientele. We can pause right there for a second. That's the first. You ain't never seen that before. And there's more. Before he was noble. So in addition now to can you provide the list from the prison showing him ever me going to see Garvey at the Atlanta Federal Pre uh, uh, Penitentiary, Mr. Tahaga Bay. And in addition, providing any evidence of Garvey ever mentioning Noble Drew Ali, Mr. Tahaka Bay, can you now confirm that Noble Drew Ali was a nail eating magician who could cure blindness, deafness while being an exorcist and taking a trip to India, India as an Egyptian adept? You know you don't mess up now, right? Oh, and excuse me, could you don the cape, gown, and hood while you present this evidence to us? Oh, and can you explain the Virginia birth? Because I'm sure your partner, Laura Alba, has seen that in some of the writings. If you don't want it, I'll help you out. One of them's called Before the Feds. There's no secrets here. We've looked through all the material. People who are listening can probably Google before the feds and see some of this information. Shall we continue on? Let's go see. This is that same article that has just been blown up. Let's read the next one. together so you see it's no sleight of hand let's find out more also can we tell them that in that census how many people was named mr drew 
Yeah, we got all that. That's why it's going to be provided so they can see, so they can go to see where the <laughs> Virginia birth comes from. There's no, we ain't hot nothing. <laughs> Everybody's going to come to their own conclusion. This ain't no gotcha moments. But now, what we're going to do, which you ain't never seen before, is continue to read when he was in Newark and before he was noble who he was. You heard about it, but you ain't seen it. So let's find out. So now we got him in jail. What happens? Did he get knocked? Did he get locked up? Let's see. Let's see. Where is it? Where is it? We'll continue just as soon as I find it. Okay. I got to go back for a second. Voodoo. Wait a minute. Hold on. We're not going to. I know he ain't involved in voodoo and exorcism and curing deafness and blindness. Oh, yes, he is. That's the one. I know that ain't right. I know I ain't read that right. Voodoo. No, he not. Hold on. I'm just trying to find it on the page so I can blow it up so we can read it together once again. Because I have the bigger article, as you can see. I'm just trying to find where the heck is it on this page? Otherwise, we got, oh, there it is. I see Drew popped up right there. There it is, folks. Let's see if I, how big can I make that? Let me scroll it on over here. Let's scroll it on over here. Look at that. Let's read this together, folks. This is from, I'm sorry, I apologize. This is from the, for all those wanted, the, July, the Monday, July 17th, 1916 issue of the Newark Evening News. I repeat, for the Moors who want it, it is the Newark Evening News, Monday, July 17th, 1916, as people can see. So let's find out now what happened to this Professor Drew. Okay. Let's see. Charm of voodoo is Drew's hoodoo. Hmm. Cool. I need everyone to pay full attention to what you're about to see. At full attention. Court gazing in crystal ball sees man guilty of practicing witchcraft could cure paralysis overnight. This ought to be good. Gazing into a crystal mounted on black velvet, Judge Osborne today in the court of special sessions found that Thomas Drew, not Timothy, voodoo doctor, was guilty of practicing medicine without a license and with dealing in witch craft I don't know I don't, I don't see I don't see nobody jumping off a roof yet let me repeat that maybe I ain't hear me <clears throat> clear my throat charm of voodoo is Drew's hoodoo court gazing in crystal ball sees man guilty of practicing witchcraft could cure paralysis overnight let me start again gazing into a crystal mounted on black velvet judge osborne today in the court of special sessions found that thomas drew voodoo doctor was guilty of practicing medicine without a license and with dealing in witchcraft the finding of the court proved the utter uselessness of magnetic influence and mesmeric science in the dignified atmosphere of a courtroom. Useless magnetic science? Mesmeric science, excuse me, magnetic influence? 
The charges against Drew were based on two visits made to him, which we saw in the other, to his occult offices. At 22 School Street, June 26, by detectives from Chief Log's office. But the real cause of his trouble was a brainstorm that attacked him several years ago in Basking Ridge, which is another part of New Jersey. Previous to that, Drew was an untamed spirit that jails, straitjackets, or handcuffs could not hold. Eating 10 penny nails. Okay, if it's old news to Harker Bay, I will, I will put the link in the chat, brother. I want you to explain the crystal ball. You ain't never seen this, bro. Eating 10 penny nails was chucked because we're going to get to where your nobleness got his source from, got his power from. I'm going to show y'all what you're following. Eating 10 penny nails was child's play, and even more remarkable feat were performed with ease. Drew admitted all this with becoming modesty. He explained that much of his ability had been zapped by the brainstorm when the court wondered how the county jail had held the man for 16 days. He told them his ability got zapped. He told the police he couldn't get out of the jail because his ability got zapped from a brainstorm. Let me continue on. Drew didn't take all the credit for his wonderful gifts. I need everyone listening to Hawker Bay, uh, Bay Bay, uh, Baby from uh, Cash Money, every Bay, Baby, and Ali you could find to hear this next paragraph. Drew didn't take all the credit for his wonderful gifts. So where did he get them from? He said he had been born with the power, fine, and has since developed it by correspondence courses. I'll read it again. Drew didn't take all the credit for his wonderful gifts. He said he had been born with the power and has since developed it by correspondence courses which will examine what could they have been brother rob one please don't let me forget to go to virginia where he was at remember he's dealing with magnetism clairvoyance people and now he is admitting that he got this from correspondence courses and wrapped this all up in some indian and egyptian stuff Let's continue further because we're going to finally get to who is your leader. He said he had been born with the power and had since developed it by correspondence courses. Want some more proof, y'all? He was also the possessor, which means he had, of a book which contained the wisdom of Indian yogis and men of magic 18 missing years of jesus to christ <laughs> he was also the possessor which means he had in his possession a book which contained the wisdom of indian yogis and men of magic so he went to egypt don't even so divinely inspired. He sent away for a correspondence course, bruh. Remember, we said magnetism, clairvoyance, and all this Indian, Egyptian, Bavatsky stuff mixed in. Does that now explain, which I haven't mentioned, all of that unto the I grant and all that stuff that was supposedly he jacked for the Circle Seven? I'm not even getting into that one. Now the audience can figure out where it came from. Drew, I'm not going to read it again. He was also the possessor of a book which contained the wisdom of Indian yogis and men of magic. Judge Osborne suggested that this volume would be a valuable addition to the records of the free public library. No disposition was made of the glass ball which Drew used to straighten his eyes since the brainstorm. 
That glass ball, fat folks, is the crystal ball that the judge was looking at on his desk. Why did noble, excuse me, Timothy Drew, the Egyptian adept, nail eater who walked around bending bars with a gown and a hood on, also have a crystal ball? A crystal ball? Was it for the exorcisms? Was it to cure the deafness or the blindness? A crystal ball? <laughs> Man, if you don't stop playing. Remember, this ain't none of my words, my brother's words, or anybody who has anything against the noble drawly this is his words what he did while in court and the newspapers a crystal ball <sighs> all right drew had told them oh excuse me Detect. wait, hold on, let me back up. No disposition was made of the glass ball was Drew used to straighten his eyes since the brainstorm. So he used his crystal ball to get his, uh, ma this magical powers back after they had been taken from him while he was in jail due, due to this brainstorm. Do you understand what he's telling these people in the courtroom? Detectives Bauman and Schrader and police matron Mrs. Elizabeth Hughes said the crystal ball had been used to look into the future when they called at the doctor's office to obtain advice on a real estate deal. Did we just make up him using the crystal ball? Detectives Bauman and Schrader and police matron Mrs. Elizabeth Hughes said the crystal ball had been used to look into the future when they called at the quote unquote doctor's office to obtain advice on a real estate deal. Once again, not our words, their words. So you go to see him and he's looking his with the hood on, purple hood, and his crystal ball, and he, you pay a dollar, and he's predicting your future? You pay another dollar here, you get an exorcism? You pay another dollar, you get some medicine? If you pay another dollar, he'll eat some nails for you. How noble are these actions? How noble are these actions? Quite magical. This man could cure deafness and blindness, he said, along with heart disease. Sorry, I'm not sure about that. Even, yo, that's perfect. Even Alexa says she's not sure about that. That is perfect. I did not even time that. <laughs> uh, yo! <laughs> Come on. Come on. Are you sitting up here worrying about Dr. Sabi? Uh, did he cure AIDS? Man, before you get to worry about Dr. Sabi cure AIDS, you need to go back uh, into 1916 and find out how did this guy cure heart disease, blindness, deafness, and perform exorcisms all while eating nails. All right, so let's finish this article. Drew had told them after consulting his glass ball, Drew had told them after consulting his glass ball, Drew had told them after consulting his glass ball that the investment was a good one, particularly if they use the other fellow's money. Other valuable items of information made known by Drew were that infantile paralysis took from two to three years to develop and that Wait, Alan, go on mute for a second because this needs to be heard. They need, they may need to halt, halt going at Dr. Sabi for a minute and find out how he, this guy, do all this. Other valuable items of information made known by Drew were that infantile paralysis took from two to three years to develop and that he could cure this. He can cure, he was going around Newark, the black folks telling him he could cure their baby's paralysis. 
took from two to three years to develop and that he could cure this and other diseases overnight. Can you imagine some poor black woman taking a paralyzed baby, baby, to him? And he telling him, let him go, let me look at my crystal ball and, and sprinkle this over you and the baby be cured overnight. Not our words, his words. His method, he explained to the court, this is important to remember, was passing the magnetic, there's that word again, influences in his blood in the afflicted part thereby killing the germs. He was going to transfer the magnetism in his blood to cure paralysis in babies. And this is what he told black families um, um, in Newark in 1916 and prior. Huh? Not our words. Not us making up something. That's your God. That's your prophet. How noble are these actions? <clears throat> Danny, let me know when you finish with that one. Well, you got another one? Just the last one? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Because you want to make it clear on and add the information to the other information. So go in the back chat and read that first paragraph with his picture on it and then hold we'll on. understand okay hold on evolves. you're right right okay so now let me just finish this last of what you ain't never seen before so y'all could stop pump faking because i asked the dude the librarian the only people they got it and nobody ever requested it before so stop it there's only one other person requested it actually is referred to and that's a reference to another reference that somebody had went to newark public library yes i give it out so if those who want to go and find it more than otherwise can go and do it because it might be something that you want to have the actual primaries for your records this ain't about just uh, hoarding no information for gotchas this may help with your history whether you like it or not we just want the truth so let me finish this last paragraph other valuable items of information made known by Drew were that infantile paralysis took from two to three years to develop and that he could cure this and other diseases overnight. His method, he explained to the court, was passing the magnetic influences in his blood to the afflicted part, thereby killing the germs. It had always been easy for him to do, he said, until recently when the attempt to, to cure an inmate at the jail of a chronic headache to prove his power in jail, physician Edward W. Markinen. You need to get a knowledge chamber asking the knowledge. Chamber. Okay, there you go. So here we go. There goes the article. So we have now things on the table. So Brother Allen wanted me to go and pull up. Well, I don't see it in the back chat. What you talking about? I put it in the, um, the chat we on now. Oh, 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 okay. Let me go back. Let me go back. So let me, uh, let me stop sharing for one second, folks. And then when we continue. So we can see the evolution to show and prove. The stuff that you already knew, we now added a foundation to it. How are you putting now, it right here? Where? How can I see? All right, it? so I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it in our chat then. Yeah, so put it in our chat. It. Yeah, I'm gonna put it right here. And then after you read that one, I'm gonna. No, no, no! Don't let me forget where he got his information Virginia. from. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The core. I told, you, to that, I told people one. to remember clairvoyance and magnetism. He said he got it from a correspondence clause. We're gonna see. Who is the originator? Okay, so yeah. what the show is this. We're gonna show you now. This should make more sense to the people who have seen it before. And that is this right here. So now people who have seen this before, does this not make more sense to you? Professor Drew. The Egyptian adept student, office hours 10 to 12 a.m. Remember we said two hours each, 6 to 8 a.m. 
I am a Muslim. Professor Drew is a man who was born with divine power, crystal balls, a cure deafness, eat nails. He was taught the taught the adepts by the adepts of Egypt. I have the secret of destroying the germs of tuberculosis and cancer of the lungs. Nobu Drali could cure cancer in 10, 30 days. Back in 1916, 15. Your lungs can whatever can something and a very strict examination of the germs are entirely destroyed also destroy the germs of eating cancer gout rheumatism lumbago all the stuff that he went to court for heart so don't tell me this ain't him that's him heart trouble female diseases and serious infections of the body call at once adults and children and be relieved of your suffering if you have any doubt about my treatments, you can be healed before a dollar is paid. But he was charging the people a dollar. False advertising, lying as well. Did that was happening? And here it says you can be healed before a dollar is paid. We just read in the court he was charging people a dollar. Which one is it? Somebody pulled a flim flam. Says also these divine treatments. Had, there has been gr great success of, I'm sorry, I can't make it out. This is a bad copy. Something and long-standing disease, which have been around two or three days, also give divine instructions and interpret the Bible from Genesis to Revelations. Also have 18 years of Christ's life. Hmm. Who has the 18 years of Christ's life? Was the Ahmadiyya sector around? Yep, the Indians. Does the, Indian, <laughs> the, the, the Indian Ahmadiyya sect talk about these missing years of Jesus' life? <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That's one place. So, holy something, 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 no more about the power of Jesus Christ. So that's him. All right, and we got we to gotta put the last one in there. And, and then we'll put the bold, last the one. Letters. And then we go back to Virginia and the correspondent course. So there's the last one. Now, mm. does this make more sense when later this this guy does this medicine show this what you're looking at, ladies and gentlemen, with all this? Do you get it now? This was a medicine show that he was performing. Don't miss the great Morris drama. Come ye everyone and see the seventh wonder of the world. It's like Houdini advertisement. The great Morris drama with constituents. Events in the in the last days amongst the inhabitants of North America. In this Morris drama, the need of a nationality will be made known to you through the acts of men, women, and children. There will be great lectures and this nationalistic topic by the Prophet Noble Juali and many of the sheiks of the grand body of the Morris Holy Temple of Science. You will also bear here, one of the greatest Moorish female sausages of the day, Madame Lomax Bay. The Prophet Noble Drali will be bound with several yards of rope. Remember, Thomas Drew was being bound with cuffs and escaping him and all that magic tricks. So now the <laughs> Prophet Noble Drali will be bound with several yards of rope as Jesus was bound in the temple at Jerusalem and escaped before the authorities could take charge of him. So will the prophet Drew Ali perform the same act being bound by anyone in the audience and will escape in a few seconds. Magic show, medicine show, wrapped in Indian Egyptian Blavatskyism and the Lawrenceism. He also will heal many in the audience. Here goes our healing again. He also will heal many in the audience without touching them. He got to throw this again, free of charge. Remember, that was the setup 15 years prior in Newark, New Jersey, free of charge. Then you find out you got to pay a dollar. Stand in front of their seats manifesting his divine power. Does this document make sense now? 
Does this document make sense now? Now that you know who Thomas Drew is, and now that you know that Thomas Drew is really later becomes Noble Drew Ali. So there was a question. Virginia, of, don't forget. Where, that's where I'm going right now, of where he could have gotten his information that he admitted to himself from. Let's type correspondence in my clippings and see what we come up with. <gasps> Look what we have here. Huh. A correspondence college. Did Noble Draw, did they say that his paperwork said he was from Virginia? Yes, it did. Let's read what was in the, the black newspaper, the Richmond Planet, in Virginia around the same time. Hmm. Let's see what we have here, folks. Since he, oh, he of correspondence magic. Let's read together. I told people to remember magnetism and clairvoyance and all the stuff that he was doing. And he got it from a correspondence course. Let's take a look, y'all. This is really, really it. Game over. This is who your teacher is. Evil influences removed. Did Thomas Drew not say he could do exorcisms? This is 1904. Pay attention, folks. The greatest workers and mediums in the world, doctors T.H. and Cornelia White, will lift all troubles and worry from you. Sound familiar? These two powerful mediums had 20 years of practical experience in white and black art, spiritualism, hypnotism, mental, and, God darn it, we need to get this big. What they have? Magnetic healing. and personal magnetism. They have traveled all over the world gathering knowledge. Sound familiar? Magnetic healing, hypnotism, spiritualism. This is way before, this is 1904. This is a Richmond planet, a black newspaper. And it said the boy was from Virginia, not from no North Carolina or may have spent time in both means he has access to the black newspapers because it's probably in the black section of town where he was at. And in that, he admitted correspondence courses and his correspondence courses match up exactly with the ads that was in the black newspapers. This is who your teacher is. Your teacher is Drs. T. H and Cornelia White, because this is where your master teacher sent the way to get his correspondence course from that he admitted to that we just read. Let's keep going. Personal, they have traveled all over the world, sound familiar, gathering knowledge and have worked for and read the lives of all the greatest men and women in the world. They have helped thousands to fame and fortune, and now they want to help you. They possess the only known secret of the great charm of mysteries. And in order to introduce the wonderful work of their correspondence college of science, correspondence college of science, correspondence. He said he took a correspondence course. Science is the name he threw all in it. Is it not? Game over. They will give everyone who becomes a student of their college one of these powerful secret charms of mysteries absolutely free. This is worth thousands of dollars to you as it will bring you health, wealth, happiness, and power. Their college of science, he ain't go no damn Egypt and India. He all the way and went to college online. It's the first version of online. Not only is he the first cop chaser, he's the first uh, getting his online degree. And spooky. Their college of science teaches you in a simple manner how to remove all evil from yourself. Was he not an exorcist or others? How to cure all natural, unnatural diseases? Couldn't he do that? He teaches you how to hypnotize. Wasn't he hypnotizing anyone? Make them do as you say. Was he not hypnotizing Negroes into believing your hokey pokey stuff he was pulling on you? 
It teaches you how to read anyone's life accurately from the cradle to the grave. It teaches, once again, personal magnetism. It teaches you how to unite the separated. It teaches you how to locate buried treasures. Write to us at once for full participation of our College of Science Correspondence course and then become a student so that you can receive one of these great charms of mysteries. As the other people say, dagger. Done. Done. You want to be noble, Drew Ali? You should write a write to Doctors T. H. and Cornelia White. Where is Kate Shine when you need him? This is the college that your God graduated from, a correspondence college. Did I make it up once again? No. He said. He got his information. Once again, let's go to the article. Where did he get his information from? Don't ever put NBK name and stuff again, buddy. Ever. Told you that from the jump, man. We try ever. to be nice to you, man. We try to build and be like, we, we, we don't do this type of stuff. Now, you didn't open a floodgate. Oh, Danny, don't forget, we got to talk about Ethiopia. No, we get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to yeah, that. Yeah, I yeah, want this finish. to sink in. Yeah. I want this to sink in. Don't ever, ever do that. Our job is not to be here attacking all of these organizations. That's not what we do. Look through our channel. We have discussions about stuff. We ain't the banging channel. We ain't the, the, the debating you and tearing down your beliefs. We understand where it comes from. We get it. You were trying to do what you could for your people, but don't you ever try to come over here. Like, we're not thorough with this, or we don't know what's really going on. Stay in your religious lane, playing them religious games, your mystical origins and your all that stuff. You don't really want it. It could get a lot worse. If you think this is it, you are sadly mistaken. Try to give you one chance. Try to give you one chance. So, like I said, Drew didn't take all the credit for his wonderful gifts. He said, he had been born with the power and had since developed it by correspondence courses. He was also the possessor of a book which contained the wisdom of Indian yogis and men of magic. So we did our homework further and put the Virginia piece in and saw that, wait a minute, this is going on. And there's only two places, really, where he could have corresponded to. This is just one. Do you want the other one? <laughs> you don't really want the other one, do you? <laughs> you don't really want the other one, do you? Let me stop sharing for a second, and maybe I can pull that up. You don't really want the other one, do you? You don't want the other one. This is brought to you by Sahaka Bay and um, Lord Mr. Apple. This is brought to you by the people who just want to jump out there and couldn't leave it alone. We had this information and I didn't want to do it. But since you want to go live and go back and forth, because also, and I let Rob Bourne address this, but you try to check the brother's character and you know that's not called for. I know for a fact what he is trying to do, and whether you want to label it black nationalism or not, it's something that you don't do. Because we, in fact, and I, and I gave the opportunity, I said, if Tahaka Bay wants to come on and talk about the great stuff he's doing in Baltimore, then, then, then that's what it should be. That's what it's about. But now you decide to take an issue dealing with more science to attack his character and his love for his people. Where they do that at?
This is the problem with putting your doctrine before your people. And that's terrible. But that's what you chose to do. So now you got to explain the nail eating, crystal ball having, purple hood wearing, purple hood wearing, clout chasing, cura <laughs> of cura of deafness, baby paralysis, and magic shows, blindness, rope trick bonding to escape artists, exorcism. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. Don't forget exorcist. Huh? Because what I want to do, I want to get the right picture. You know that's what I'm looking for, right? <laughs> All right, fine. We're gonna play this game. Let me just show my screen, then I'll pull it up live so people see it ain't no it ain't no uh tricks. Here's the other person that was doing correspondence courses. Choose your weapon. It is an institute that was in Chicago. It is named the DeLawrence Institute. Did you say DeLawrence? Oh, I'll man. get to that. We're going to read in 1902 what you could get via correspondence from the DeLawrence Institute. Hypnotism. The wonders and possibilities of applied hypnotism, personal magnetism, occult and psychic influence, also the famous silent Hindu concentration for the induction of hypnotic sleep and the curing of diseases taught at the DeLawrence Institute of Hypnotism and Occult Philosophy by L.W. DeLawrence, the well-known author lecturer, demonstrator, and practitioner of medical psychology and suggestive therapeutics. Listen closely. Professor DeLawrence, who is an adept, this is 1902. Y'all think I must be making stuff up. How big can I get this? That's as big as it go. Right here. See where the mouse is going? Look at the words. This is 1902. Professor DeLawrence, who is an adept, has spent years where in India with the Eastern adepts and yogis. Before I go any further, what did that man say? That man said, Drew didn't take all the credit for his wonderful gifts. He said he had been born with the power and had since developed it by correspondence courses. He was also the possessor of a book which contained the wisdom of Indian yogis, of men of magic. Let us go back to what was going on in 1902. Professor DeLawrence, who was an adept, has spent years where? In India with the Eastern adepts and yogis. Hmm. Hmm. And is not to be confounded with those who are attempting to teach hypnotism and who have only a superficial knowledge of the science or those who take your money for a mail order correspondence course, neither of whom can teach you. The Dolores Institute is the oldest and only institution of its kind in the country where the student obtains a knowledge of hypnotism and occultism as it is taught and practiced in the Orient by the Hindu adepts who are the greatest hypnotists in the world and was opened in Chicago by request from the many readers of Professor DeLawrence's famous work on hypnosis, hypnotism, Hindu magic and occultism entitled Hypnotism and Suggestion, Medical Hypnosis, Practical Lessons in Hypnotism, and of course, Vital Magnetism. The Book of Magical Art, Hindu Magic and Occultism, the Bible defended and occult interpretations of the books of the Holy Scripture. Don't make me pull up this again to show you this again, to show you that one of the things he was doing was interpreting the Bible. And I'll show you that this is 1902 and that's 10 years after. Those who are interested in these sciences are most emphatically informed and warned that in these times of humbugs, imitators, and imposters, blah, 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 blah. Right? 
So you can read this, and I'll read the whole thing. I don't think you want me to. Mediums, uh, hypnosis, uh, all bad habits cure the same thing. This is in Chicago, and the Lawrence is huge, and this was the Institute, the Lawrence Institute. Now, why? Why is the Lawrence important? Why? Why? Let's see. Let's do this together. What we're going to do is go to actually L W the Lawrence. Watch this, folks. Let's see why this is important. Let's see what L W the Lawrence wrote, y'all. Let's see who offered this correspondence course that we speak of. Come on. Uh oh. Uh oh. Was an American author and publisher on occult and spiritual topics. The Lawrence was born in Cleveland. Yada yada yada. Oh, let me get this. Let me get this. His publishing company, the Lawrence and Scott and Spiritual Supply Mail Order Company House, was located in Chicago, Illinois. The Lawrence was a pioneer in the business of supplying magical and occult goods by mail order. And his distribution of public domain books is hold on. Hold on. Secrets of the Psalms. Powwows of the Long Lost Friend had a great and lasting effect on the African American hoodoo, urban hoodoo. Let's go further. What else did he have his hand in? He is mocked and reviled among modern occultists for his plagiarism of the pic pictorial key to the tarot and S.L. McGregor Mather's the key of Solomon. He also wrote his own works, including the Master Key, a personal development book, and he got involved in New Thought and the Spiritualist Movement and what have you. Now, Alan, can you speak to the doctrine a little bit and what they always claim that it is is stolen from? It's stolen from India. The secrets are held in India and Egypt. Where was where did they say that portions of the Quran that Quran was taken from? Aquarian Gospel of Jesus the Christ on the book until the I grant. Until the D I I grant thee or something. I grant. Until the I grant something like that. Uh huh. Got it. Was yeah, this not right distributed there. by the Lawrence? <laughs> Was this not distributed by the Lawrence? Huh? Oh, let's go here to find out. Huh? Here's that name again. The Lawrence, Chicago. Let's type the, oh, the occult gospel is what the Lawrence did. Oh, during his correspondence courses. Uh oh. Let's see his symbolism. Can we get that bigger? Let's see if we can. Oh, let's scroll over a bit. Hmm. Let's see what else this guy was doing here. Hmm. Can't seem to scroll, maybe. Yoga Publishing Society. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Hmm. Looks like uh, the little Egyptian symbol up there to me, buddy. Hmm. But we were looking for something in particular. We're not on a search. We, you said it was taken from Unto the I Grant. Let's see if that's in here. Unto. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, excuse me. Please go on mute. Let's see what this says, since there's no magic tricks, guys. How about this guy with this correspondence course? In 1910, Reverend Drew Ali would form the Moore Science Temple around the publication of the Circle 7 Quran, which encapsulated teachings from Levi H. Dowling's 1908 publication, The Aquarian Gospel of Jesus the Christ, the anonymous Rose Christian book unto the I grant. And he was traveling between New York and Chicago at the time. We can only imagine what other occult influencers may have crept in. Huh? You know who published this book? It was the Lawrence's company so now when you go back and you see 
in 1916 in Newark where this man out of his own mouth says what? Drew didn't take all the credit for his wonderful gifts. He said he had been born with the power and had since developed it by correspondent courses. I just gave you the two biggest correspondence courses and it matches up both of them exactly what they did. Those are your teachers. Your teachers are a husband and wife named White and your other teacher is DeLawrence, this guy. And now, the icing on the cake. Let's see what DeLawrence looks like all dressed up in his hokey gear. Let's see. <laughs> Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. Game over. Let me see if I can get a bigger picture. <laughs> you, you, you got the okie dote <laughs> by a correspondence card sticking. You got some holier than thou walking around here screaming about this. You don't sit your boy. Let's see. Search Google for this image. So we can get a nice big to show the people. Let's go to all sizes. Oh, that's the only one online. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Look at your man with the uh oh. Crescent and moon, turban, writing books. Let's go to his website, as a matter of fact. You can do this at home. Can somebody put this in the chat for me? DeLawrenceCompany.com. Since 1892, the correspondence courses that he was offering and the magical rings and all this that Thomas Drew said he was getting his information from correspondence. Oh, yo, I know they ain't got a crystal ball up here. What is that? Oh, no. Y'all saw that. It's going to come back around because I can't click on it. I know good and goddamn well they ain't got a crystal ball in here. I know they don't. We're going to sit here and wait for it, folks. I'm going to make this look in this window right here. And a crystal ball is going to come up. I, I didn't plan this one. Is this where this nigga will order his crystal ball from, too? Come on. I'm not moving until this comes up. Can't be that many pictures. Delores's Oriental Incense. Oh, you ain't gonna come back up now because I wanted to? Anyway, folks, trust me, there's a crystal ball that's in this first one. I wonder, is that where it was ordered from? Can't click on none of this. Now, <laughs> they should have a, yeah, give me the catalog products. Oh, that's that. I can't scroll. Don't make me search for DeLorean's crystal ball. I know y'all saw it. I mean, maybe if I go back, it'll be the pop first one that pop up. Horus rings. But, Alan, you got anything? No, nah, man, I mean, the Lawrence, he does have an effect on multiple of these organizations at that time. I don't want to, you know, we can throw the Hebrews in there a little bit. I'm not talking about, no, 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 no. I'm no, not talking about the Hebrews. Leave it alone. I'm not leave talking it about alone. nobody else. I mean, I mean, I mean, we're going to keep it on Noble Jewelry, but he has an influence on Robert Matthews with his magical diagrams. He did <laughs> this already. Listen, my brother. But we stay you on. No Hebrews done nothing to me. I don't know nothing about that. <laughs> ain't no Hebrews done nothing to me. So, uh, until, this that, is, this until is, that happens, is, I don't know what you're um, talking about. Bro. I mean, we can leave it alone. Leave it alone. So you, I'll take I care of that. You go out there and start all of them. I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm dealing specifically with a person who seems to have a problem and mentioning NDK out their mouth. I just want to let it be known. 
All right, so I guess it, I guess it's link dropping time, Mister Tabak Tahaka Base at you in there. See, we put the link in the chat, and we don't, cut you, we don't cut you off. We don't block you. We don't act like the phone don't work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you remember last night. But well, here we go. Here go the link coming in the chat for you, boy. This is what we do over here. We don't talk garbage about you. We give you the link. Speak your speech. Explain the nail eating. Exorcism. Her, exorcism, ball bending, rope trick having, correspondent course yogi, divine person. You asked for this. You did this. Here go the link right here. Here go the link right here. You did this. Don't ever forget that. Clout chasing, magic man, hoodoo, voodoo, and all that other mystical stuff. Come on here and explain and show us and prove that everything that we said is not right and exact. They go to the link talker. Don't act like you ain't in the chat no more. We popping it in there again. That's two times. That's three times. That's four times. If you busy, I can understand that, but you ain't too busy to be typing. Link is in the chat. Link is in the chat. <laughs> Yo, I'll be right back. Give me one second. Me, I'm sure you got this, brother. <laughs> yeah. So basically, you know, this is something that we always have. We got a whole bunch of more stuff because we like the research to find out uh, how these things come about. How do these people come up with these doctrines? Where the hell did Fraud Muhammad come from? Where did he get this stuff from? Is he really a divine prophet? Is he a law and a per? We do this stuff, but that's our personal thing. We don't put that stuff out there because we understand that it's not really about that. But when you start to try to assassinate the God character and start talking crazy, and then you putting all people's titles in a name and putting pictures, now you're going to get the you're gonna get the work. And this is not even it. We got a whole bunch more. <laughs> that's the crazy part. This is light. This ain't even a, this ain't even the icing on the cake. Yo, yo, peace. Peace. I'm looking for a bay. To Hawker Bay, I'm Lord. I'm finna send it to him on Facebook. Lord Abba Bay, I'm looking for them people to come on. Because <laughs> we put the link in the chat. You sat there and watched this information and said it was new. We ain't never seen this before or heard no one put this together like this, ever. So come on here and explain the crystal ball, fortune telling, exorcism, nail eating, purple hood wearing, crystal ball playing with, brainstorm, Having profit, I want the. We need that. We need some answers. That dude was Doctor Sebi before Doctor Sebi. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a part of the culture, man. It is what it is. I know I it hurt. It, I know it hurt. I, I know it hurt. On. I know it hurt. He's not coming on, bro. I know it hurt. This nigga Danny didn't give a damn today. <laughs> oh, it, nope, nobody popping in the link. Nobody popping on. I guess not. I guess we can't I find it. out. I, I, I guess, I guess we can't. I on. guess we can't find out about the Christian the nail eating exorcist exorcism. <laughs> He's not coming on. I told you that already. <laughs> They told you you was warned in personal message, yo. Don't do that, bro. You can build with them and them y'all can have y'all. They told you, they warned you. So you you talking about uh Garvey was the forewarner. You got the forewarn from numerous people. Don't do it, son. Don't do it. And you ain't want to listen. Prophecy fulfilled. No Ali, the magician, nail eating, rope tricks, tricking has been put on the front, on the forefront. <laughs> So do we have anybody come in yet? No. Well, I need somebody. To, I need. I need the problem. Which Harker was just in here. Please tell me how did he cure blindness and deafness? Please. I sent them. That. I sent them a message, Danny. Do, do, uh, please tell us. Does do they use? Is more science now that he couldn't define it? Now I have to assume is more science. Dolorensian hypnotism mixed with magnetism and the ability to eat. Um, uh, construction site nails. Mm. I didn't think about it. 
Do you yeah, guys no, have the crystal that you use? <laughs> I see fezzes. Where are the hoods and capes? <laughs> they wasn't know, doing that crazy. in West Africa. They was not doing that in Morocco that either. Science? Should we all study more science so our deaf and blind family members, we can get the science to cure blindness and Yo. deafness? And what's in them bottles, man? What's the ingredients in the Moorish blood purifier? Y'all still sell that? What's in there? What's in that bottle, man? <laughs> it said nail eat. <laughs> and once again, these are not the words of MBK just trying to be get some colorful language to throw darts. These are the words from the primary documents of what he said. And he did before he was noble. He got his light from correspondence courses. I showed you the two biggest ones, and they match up exactly with the shtick he was doing. Now, don't make me show you the Bay Bay Circus that was going around at the same time. And I mean B E Y B E Y. Nah, put it up there. Put it up there. The, 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 this is going session. Put it up there. I'll show one. I'll show one, and I'll even do it to show you. Dude, please leave us alone. We don't want no problems. Say it again. We don't want no problems with none of y'all conscious stuff. That's y'all world. We don't get into that. But if you want the truth factory, if you want how it really happened, whether you like it or not, it even hurts us. I'll put it to you this way. Brother Rob Ball, let's be honest here. We first started building whatever, and I was saying that the church was at the center of everything. That shit was, it was excuse my cursing, that pissed you off, right? You didn't want to. Oh, yeah. I was, arguing, I was arguing with you every day. Me and right. that, bro, that, that, that other brother was arguing with you every day about that, bro. So I had every to show day. you food, right? Every day. I was, so I, had to I, I, was call, I was calling you a Christian. You was calling said, me a Christian just like the other boys the other day called me a Christian and a whole bit, right? Yep. And I said, I know it hurts. I'm not a Christian, but the truth is, the truth is this. It hurt me to believe it. I wanted some voodoo warriors to be at the center of it too. They wasn't. So I'm saying that to say over here, we just want the truth. So we can yeah, put man, it and that, and, that, and that Elijah Muhammad under the, under, hiding under the bed, under a rug, I ain't like that. Did I say that? I, it wasn't my words. I ain't like that. But, but I, I had the, the words. Then, then I had to go.